heat and temperature. These are two terms that people often think means the same thing, but they don't. It's important as physicists that we have these definitions correct. So, what is the difference? Let's look at the two items on screen now. On the left is a cup of coffee, and on the right is a lit match. It should be really obvious to you that the match is much hotter or at a higher temperature than the cup of coffee. But it's not so obvious that the cup of coffee actually contains much more heat. In order for us to see this clearly, let's zoom in and look at the particles inside. In the coffee, there's millions of particles, all moving fairly slowly. But heat's a measure of the total energy in a system. So if we add up all the energy of every particle, we find there's loads of heat energy there. Now, if we look at the match, we see there's only a handful of particles. And although they're zipping around really, really quickly, because there's so few of them, if we add up the total energy here, we find it's much lower than in the coffee. Temperature, however, is a measure of the average energy in a system. And as we can see in the match, the particles are moving much, much faster than in the coffee. So the average energy, and hence the temperature, is much higher. To recap, heat is the total energy in a system. And because it's energy, it's measured in the same units as energy, which is joules. Temperature, however, is the average energy in a system. And there's loads of different units for temperature, such as Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. It's really important to make sure you remember and understand these basic definitions as we move through the rest of the heat topic.